Can you imagine a person who can see music or maybe hear different tastes? Well, probably not, unless it is a Marvel Studio production. However, this can actually happen in the real world. Say hello to synesthesia. Synesthesia is made up of two parts. Syn, which means union, and esthesia, which means senses. So combine these two words and you will have union of the senses. Normally, we hear sounds, see colors, taste food, feel the touch, and smell different scents. These are called the triggers, and these are the senses produced. Now, imagine a sound comes along and you hear it, but at the same time, it causes you to see colors. So listening to music will also be like fireworks. This is exactly synesthesia, one trigger activating two senses, or better said, union of the senses. Remember the trigger activates the original sense and another sense as an addition, not a replacement. So the music will activate the auditory cortex right over here, causing you to hear, which then cross activates the visual cortex, causing you to see. So following the music, you both hear and see, and not just seeing as a replacement to hearing. 80 types of synesthesia have been reported up to now, some of them being cross-modal which means between senses like when hearing causes seeing, and some being intramodal, which means within a specific sense, like when seeing a letter or a word causes you to see a color. In fact, this one is called grapheme color synesthesia and is one of the most common types. Other types have also been reported like chromesthesia, which happens when hearing sounds makes you to see colors. Another one is spatial sequence synesthesia in which each number, for example, has a position in space. These types of persons might have great memories due to their visualization. Some might have auditory tactile synesthesia, in which certain sounds can create a sensation of being touched. We also have lexical gustatory synesthesia, which is very rare but was reported before. In this one, tastes are experienced when hearing words. Imagine you taste strawberry whenever I say Trump. If so, this is a lexical gustatory synesthesia, plus many other types of synesthesia which is out there. But why all of this is happening? Well, it is not well understood as of today. Some say it is because of some cross wiring between different areas of the brain which might have been inherited or maybe acquired after a trauma or a stroke. On the other hand, a relatively new hypothesis mentions synesthesia to be a semantic phenomenon. This is called idiesthesia, in which, for example, seeing a bird brings the idea or imagination of a crane in your mind. Anyway, regardless of the mechanism, remember that synesthesia is involuntary, people might not be aware that they have synesthesia, and if they are aware, they are usually happy with it. And most importantly, synesthesia is not a disease, it is a trait. So don't worry and be happy if you have synesthesia.